Hello, now we're going to show you how to terminate RG59 cable with an F-series connector. Hello and uh, welcome to our demonstration for Belden's compression connector series. Today we're going to be talking about terminating three different kinds of cable, RG59 coax, RG6 coax, and our mini RGB coax. We're going to start off with co uh, terminating our RG59 coax with an F connector. So the first thing you want to do is take your standard RG59 cable and you want to make sure that there's a good straight cut on the end of it. And that's important for a number of reasons. Number one, it's important for the seating of the connector and number two, it's important on an F connector for the center conductor to be cut square. So in this case we'll just go ahead and cut a little piece off make sure that it's nice and straight, yep, it's a good straight cut, put the cutters aside. I'll go to my AB Security Belding Compression Connector Kit, take out my BBRGST strip tool from the kit. On the bottom here there's a, an adjuster that adjusts spring tension, you can see here this is for RG59. If you want it for RG6, you actually go ahead and spin it all the way around so that this arrow here lines up with there's an arrow on the plastic. But since we're doing RG6, we'll go ahead, I mean sorry, since we're doing RG59, we'll go ahead and put that flip that back around. The next step is to take the stripping tool and open it. It's a spring-loaded tool. It's actually got two blades you can see inside there. One of them is to cut the jacket only, and one of them is to cut through the dielectric to expose the center conductor. And it's actually labeled on the tool here. It says for this big hole, RG59, 6, and 6 quad shield coaxial cable. Whereas on the RGB tool, it'll actually say RGB right on there. So we'll go ahead, open the spring clamp, insert the cable all the way into the tool and you want to butt right up against that stopper. There's a washer that's on, built onto the tool and you can see there it'll go right on and rest right inside there. If you read the instructions for the strip tool what it actually says is go ahead and do two turns in one direction and two turns in the other direction so we're going to go ahead and do that. One, two, one direction, one, two, the opposite direction. What we're going to go ahead apply just a slight amount of pressure to the clamps to the jaws here and pull it pull it right off and you're gonna have a, a perfect quarter quarter strip now what you want to make sure is you can see that there was some uh, braid shield that was left on here and you want to make sure that nothing is touching the center conductor so in this case there's a little bit wrapped around so you're gonna to want to go ahead and make sure that all that's pulled off the center conductor because that'll create a short and while doing that you want to make sure you fold the braid back down over the jacket so we're just going to go ahead and do that and it's really no trick to this you just kind of pull it with your fingers and get it over the jacket and kind of push it down as much as possible you might lose some strands of braid it's okay to lose some but you don't want to lose a whole bunch and as I said as you're pulling this off you're going to go ahead and make sure that the center conductor is free from any strands of braid because again that will short it so in this case I'm, go, I'm trying to pull the center conductor make sure it's clean and you just do a little physical examination make sure that there's nothing shorting we're good we've got a little bit of extra braid there so I'm going to go ahead and, and take my cutters and just cut that little extra bit off so that we're even all the way around which is important on these connectors because you're going to get a full 360 degree compression so you want to make sure that everything on here is nice and even so you can see there I pushed the pushed it down right around there leave the foil in, in place if it has foil make sure that that center conductor is nice and straight the next step that you're going to want to do is take your connector body and you can see here we've got our, our BB59 series for F. 
This is your standard RF F connector. And you can see it's got the a little ferrule on the inside there. So the next step what you're going to do is you're going to take that connector and, and feed it over, over the end and you're going to actually see it slide right over the center conductor and foil. You don't want that to bunch up, you want that just to slide right over real nice. If you see it bunch up, it might be because you've got a 59 connector and you're trying to put it on an RG6 or vice versa. So you want to make sure you get that right on there and you slide that over and you just use a little bit of force and push that right down and you know you're finished when you can see just a little bit of dielectric coming through and you actually want, you don't want to push it on too far, you want that dielectric to be flat with the inside of the connector. Right there. Okay. Next step is you want to go ahead and take your, your strip, your crimp tool, which is our standard Belden BBCOMT tool, which is our plunger style with a set of dies inside. You're going to open that handle up you're going to want to use this adapter and this adapter is specifically for uh, F-style connectors and RCA's and it's a real easy tool to use you just put the adapter right inside and it snaps right into place see that's locked down in there on those teeth Okay. next step you want to do is take, take the tool in one hand and push your index finger on the spring-loaded die on one side and push the other one down on your thumb with the other side. So now you've got both these dies open. You can see if I release them, they just fly right back. So what you want to do is open that end up, stick your cable inside all the way down so that it seats onto that adapter right on the tool, release the die set, and they'll actually fly back. You saw they just spring right back into place. And you can see the connector is seated onto that tool. And then the next step is to go ahead and do the actual compression. get it right down till it bottoms out there. You want to have feel have it right to where it will stop. Open up the tool, push the dies down to release the cable, and you've got a finished F connector assembly. It's on there really sturdy and you can see it actually the tool itself actually makes that metal bend. The bubble goes from the outside and then it actually necks it down onto the the jacket of the cable. And that's it. That's how you terminate an RG59F connector with the Belden AV Security Compression Kit.